Hi Brenda, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well. Um, do you mind just telling me a bit about your organization and what you do? Sure, I'm Brenda Torpy and I'm the director of the Champlain Housing Trust in northwestern Vermont. We serve three counties in northwest Vermont. We started in 1984 as a community land trust, started up working in the city in Burlington and have reached out to the whole region. And today we have 500 homes of, of, for homeowners in our trust, as well as 1,500 apartments. We also have a big loan program for homeowners and two home ownership centers where we educate and help people to get ready to buy and we support them with coursework after they're buyers. So we believe that we can really support people to be successful in home ownership. Wow, that's a long time. How, what's kept you there for that, that amount of time? Well, I started out as a founding board member working for the city and we, I did a lot of other projects. I've worked with tenants and I've done community organizing. And when the, the job opened up in the 90s at the trust, the first director left, I thought this was the best thing we ever did. The community land trust is more than a housing program. It's more than an economic opportunity program. It's really um, created a brand new way and opportunity for people to become homeowners and start creating wealth even if they're quite poor and I thought that was the thing I wanted to do the most and I've stuck with it since 1991. That's wonderful. Uh, what would you say is the most important thing about a community, having a community land trust in a city or in a country? What's important to me is that it came from the principle in Burlington that everybody deserves a decent home and everybody should be able to live in our city and have the security that homeowners have. And the reason we started doing rental housing as well is that not everyone can or wants to be a homeowner, but why should they be insecure? Renters shouldn't be displaced for economic reasons, shouldn't be displaced so that people can build shopping centers or whatever. So we become a social landlord and say, if you abide by your contract as a tenant, you have a home and security for life. And I think that's the founding, founding, founding principle for us in all our work is that the security of a home gives families so much of what we all want, the dignity, the opportunity to become part of a community as well as economic security and maybe economic improvement if it is a, a home ownership or a, a co-op where you can build equity as well. Mm. And Champagne's done quite a lot more than just affordable housing, is that right? Yes, we also developed, because we're committed to a neighborhood and protecting people from displacement and, and also wanting to improve the neighborhood for the people there, we've done a number of community buildings, uh, providing services that the community needs like nonprofit daycare and senior care. We built a community health center, a food shelf with food programs, um, and nonprofit offices and programs. We also have some retail and um, service uh, businesses in our buildings. If they fit and there's a need in the neighborhood when we do a building, we provide space for those businesses too. Wow. And what would you tell a new organization trying to start up? What would your advice be to us? I would say uh, we're very excited to see community land trust being undertaken in places like Australia and England and everywhere where people are needing new ways to access home ownership and access the land for community purposes. It's a great tool and we've learned in our country, which is a lot of diversity, it's very adaptable. So what I would say to you is that Take our model, learn from all the experience now around the world, adapt it to your needs, engage your local people and listen to them and you'll build a strong organization and if you stick to these principles, which is your give, continuing to give access and the security of home to people, you're going to be very successful and meet the needs of your community. Thank you. Thank you.